This is also same as the previous example cross site scripting. Here we have this is also saying the hint find the XSS vulnerability in the following form. It would appear that your input is being fit filtered. So before going to that, I have just going to my completed one and go to the previous cross site scripting. Here you can see what are the payload scripts you can able to use here. So just I'll try the first one. Here it's saying sorry but there were no results found in the related to XSS. The thing is here they are mentioning following form. That means whatever we are giving is directly falling inside the form. So to view that we can go to the inspect element and see what is happening. Here you can see all the things are fallen under the form as they have given in the hint. Find uh, access vulnerability in the following form. So let's try uh, another script which is also provided in the previous one is using a image tag so click enter here you can see the script is functioning so here when I press ok you will get the ID for the next lesson so before going to that thing I'm just saying something this is the image HTML tag and here we are not declaring the script tag because the HTML tag on error attribute that means image on error attribute can execute the JavaScript function. So that is the reason we are using this kind of HTML tag inbuilt with the attributes which contain the JavaScript functions. So let's try the second script which is third script which is given by them as well so it's based on a button so it's a button click event action so it's an input type button the button when we are clicking the button it will display it a, it a alert but actual thing is here we won't get the button here this will be automatically executed by the javascript function and go to and go and see the third last example it's in iframe so iframe is used by the web based applications as well as websites in order to provide the link that means if you are using an iframe in your website in order to provide the pdf reader or a, as you have need to going to play a video in your website then it's iframe is used most of the time so this is also HTML tag which is redirecting that means giving the source as a JavaScript. So it will run the JavaScript and it will alert this XSS message in an alert box. So let's try this one. Yeah, here it's saying the thing is not working. The reason is this address is not available really so just I am changing the source attribute in order to uh, change this as on load and I am giving its function alert that means again is like a image tag on error function yeah here you can see the message that will be in the alert box so here the same thing which which I said already in the IMG SRC tag this is the onload attribute contained by the iframe HTML tag in order to get the JavaScript function so just copy the code and paste it here and click the submit you have finished this lesson and go to the next lesson.